Today is March the 1st, uh, 07, but I want to tell you about the most important day in my life, and that will take us back to 1946, when I was just 13 years old, uh, and I'll give you a little bit of background. First of all, uh, I want to tell you about the day that I put my faith and trust in the Lord Jesus as my personal Savior. I was not raised in a Christian home, but I had a mother who believed, was a believer in the Lord Jesus. And she taught me about God and who Jesus was, his son, and I being the youngest of four children, I feel I had extra time with her at home because the others were older and was in school. And she would uh, tell me stories and which sometimes included things of the Lord. And uh, when I was 13 years old, uh, mother and I moved in with my older sister uh, about eight miles away from where our home was. The reason for this move was it was just about a year after the Second World War and housing was not easy to come by at that point in time and my dad now being not an old man but not a young man either and jobs didn't come easy and so uh, at our home in Franklinville he was only uh, within walking distance to his employment and so it was decided that we, my mother and I, would live with my sister and her husband who was home from the war and we still was in close enough touch with dad. We'd go see him on Sunday afternoons and spend time with him and he was with us on holidays and, and uh, very much there. Uh, now I say all that to say this. When I moved to this town of Williamstown where my sister and husband lived, uh, of course it was a new school. I was in seventh grade and uh, I had a whole new set of friends. And I might mention here the name of a hymn that's been going through my mind these late days, that all the way my Savior needs me. And at the time and over the years, you don't always recognize that. But as the years go by and you look back over your life, as to how the Lord has uh, protected and cared for you and just loved you uh, even when you wasn't aware of it. And so, uh, in coming to Winston, I found, as you said, a friend. And God arranged that for the most part they were children from Christian homes. And I was uh, in their homes a lot 
and saw uh, how other people lived and how they prayed over the, their meals and, and uh, were regular going to church. Well, I had also started going to church on a regular basis, uh, not with the family, but with my little niece, who was three years old, the little girl I lived with. And uh, it was a Presbyterian church, and I started going regularly, where at home I would go sometimes, but it wasn't a regular most important thing in our life. Uh, but anyway, uh, during that season of school, it was in the fall of the year, uh, the church had a lady come for a two-week series of meetings with the children. Uh, and her name was Miss Dorothy Bedford. And she brought a wonderful series of uh, lessons from God's Word. Just came alive with the flannel graph. And I had never seen flannel graph before. And I just must have soaked it all in. And as I remember, uh, it was toward the very last few meetings of the series that she really talked to us about the, um, about the gospel and having the Lord Jesus in our life and in our heart. And as I remember, she uh, invited the children to do just that, but I didn't have the courage to make this known, to raise my hand or to go to her. But in my heart, I knew I wanted Jesus as my Savior, and He was my hope of heaven. And I trusted Him that day. And there were changes in my life. Uh, I, I knew from my exposure to my other friends' families that you do thank the Lord uh, at the table, and you do read your Bible, and uh, and things, little changes like that came into my life. And so, as I look back, I can see how God was providing. And then, I'll go a little bit further. All the time, we're getting older, and now it's uh, eighth grade, and I'm still regularly going to Sunday school and church and uh, had a first an older lady for a Sunday school teacher that was very good but then as we went into another uh, phase we had a very young sweet lady and she really encouraged the children and she was just what we needed, this young person. And uh, I'm sure the Lord used that to help me to grow and, and in, in His grace and knowledge of Him. Uh, high school came, and I think it was the second year that High BA, which is a club for teenagers after school, and it stands for High School Born Againers, and uh, so I started going to IBA, and we had a very great leader there, and he really taught us uh, deeper things of God, and different things about the scripture that just made him come alive, and I'm sure uh, I oftentimes think of my RBA days. And so uh, that was another way the Lord was providing for me to uh, be taught the things of God in His Word. And as time went on, uh, there was Youth for Christ 
that was another meeting for young people uh, on a Saturday night and uh, there was a, a young man who was preparing for mission work um, here in the United States in rural America starting Sunday school and so he would come on Saturday nights and take a few of us to Youth of Christ and they had wonderful, wonderful speakers come in and uh, there again getting me into the, into the Word of God and just desiring to, to know more and to want to be a, a Christian and, and please the Lord in my life. And then uh, back to some of my friends and their family. Uh, one of my friends, they went to church uh, further away from where we lived, but they would all the time invite me to go with them on a Sunday night. It was Ocean City Baptist Church, and they always had Bible conference there in the summertime. And there again, uh, renowned speakers were brought in, and I was able to sit under their ministry, and as a result, an encouragement from my friend's family, her mother, uh, I saw the need to follow the Lord through the waters of baptism, which I did in Ocean City Baptist Church. And uh, the Lord just uh, continued to guide and direct in my life. Continued through high school and, and then uh, about a year after high school, I met Don and uh, and the rest of his history. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the Lord brought us together in marriage and gave us our three children to raise for him. And we thank him so much that, that they, uh, they know him as their savior and their families. We have a lot of prayer going up for each one of them. And uh, I, I just thank him so much that he rescued me. And uh, so let me just say uh, a verse. I so love the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And I just thank him so much for that. I thank him also for the verse that told me that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that certainly included me. And then the verse that tells us the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank the Lord that I have that gift from God. And I love Him. And I'm glad to share this part of my life, most important day, with, with you all. I love you. Savior. 
Thank you. 